welcome back to the channel so today we're going to do a top tips for using maze plus um traditionally you'd have a top five or a top ten we're going to do a top six today uh, the first one is one of the most important and that is read the something manual um guys from maze plus have worked and put together a pretty extensive 60 odd page guide on how to use the maze plus mod and its add-ons and it covers most of the questions you're going to have so i'll put a link for it in the description below and before you install the mods and activate it maybe go and have a look at the uh the manual it'll tell you some of the new features that have been added um things like if you're struggling to make hay the fact that you need to ted the grass more than you would in the base game uh, and i've got tutorial videos on that so go check below um they'll tell you how to do it but yeah it covers basically everything to do with maze plus um particularly good sections on the new updates so it covers all of the crops that the uh the horse extension maps have in them uh it covers ccm uh the grain mill and so some of the stuff from the new uh, version 1.5 root destruction which is in the horse extension version of the farming agency's edits to maps uh, how to do tmr things like that it covers just about everything so uh yeah if you're going to be using maze plus have a look in the manual um i'm going to move on next to how to pick the right map but so we're in the game now um a couple of uh pointers for the start of this thing when you're playing with maze plus only have one map in your active mods folder your mods folder is not a download folder it doesn't need to have every single mod you've ever wanted in it and every single map you've ever played or want to play store those somewhere else in your mods folder have the mods that you're going to be using for the game that you're going to be playing uh, that stops a lot of issues with maps that have other scripts in although you may not select the map those scripts get loaded into the game at start and can cause issues so one map in your mods folder apart from the base game ones obviously and your mods folder is not your download folder download all the mods you want only put them in the mods folder if you plan to use them um, so how do you know if a map will work with maze plus um, so the sensible option go with a farming agency edition of a map whether that's farming agency horse extension whatever um, but how do you know if the map that you're going to use will work or not there are two ways of testing this you can test it in game which is the easy way or we can look in the files which i'll show you after this so if we go to load up the game um, i've got a selection of mods loaded here and the big problem with whether a map will work with most plus is whether it has enough height types or whether you can height types are, are things that you can have on the ground um, and different mods add height types base game maps have 32 height types available and about 23 of those are used by the game and then things like straw harvest beet harvest global company uh, potato washing and sorting and maize plus all increase those and take up some of those uh, 30 seasons as well take up some of those 32 possible height types if you have seasons on uh, and you pick a map that doesn't have enough height types so we'll just wait for this to load and we'll see what happens and you get a message um depending on which mod it is that uh, gets unhappy as it loads that straw harvest and season are unable to load the map because they're not compatible with seasons or straw harvest it's actually just because there are too many height types it's not because the map won't work with seasons or won't work with straw harvest it's that you've picked too many different mods so the game will kick you out uh, the my screen's gone blank with my recording annoyingly um oh, i'll have to stick a picture in there or something um so here we are so the game reloads basically um if we try again uh, but we deselect a whole load of mods so we'll turn off a bunch of mods that add height types um, you could choose not to play with the CCM extension as well, and we'll turn seasons off, and uh, hopefully this should load this time. And there we go, the game's loaded up. So that's how you can tell. Um, I don't want to do the tour. In fact, we'll uh, we'll quit out of this, and I'll show you what happens if you choose a map that's got the right number of height types. Um, so here we are again. We'll pick a new save. We'll pick a new farmer. And we'll pick the uh, farming agency edition of sandy bay all the mods selected and a little while later 
there we go map works um so it's purely down to the map having enough height types available so we'll jump out of the game and i'll show you a way to check that in the files as well so i'm in my mods folder now yes there are hardly any mods in here because this is what i'm using for testing and what you want to do is go to the map and open up the archive get that on the screen and then we need to go into shaders the ground height shader and we scroll down to line 190 something there we go 192 globals dot ground types equals 127 and that's because of the way computers work it means there's 128 height types available on the map um, if that ground height shader file isn't available in your map that means it's probably using the base game one which means it'll have 32 if you want to see check where that ground height is ground height shader file is you need to go into the mod map i3d file and you want to click on edit for that and then you can just do a quick search for uh, and there we go it tells me it's in the shaders folder uh, it may be in a different folder depending on how the modder has set the map up that's how you check whether you have enough height types looking in the zip file or you can just try and load the game up and if you get an error message the map doesn't have enough height types there are tutorials available on the Maze Plus Discord for how you could increase the number of height types yourself to uh, make Maze Plus work on a map that doesn't have enough height types. Tip number three. Um, if you can, always start with a fresh save. Um, so if you watch some of my Let's Play series when I on Homeworld to move to using the version 1.5 of Maze Plus, I had to start a completely fresh save and reset that game using the horse extension version of the map. Um, there are some ways you can get around that and i will cover those in tip four but tip three if you can start with a fresh save and also start with all of the mods you're going to use that increase the number of height types so things like straw harvest beet harvest uh, any of the global company mods that add things to the game like washed potatoes or sorted potatoes or um, something like straw me um, although the farming agency guys recommend you don't use straw me because it um it can mess things up a bit i've used it in a save game with a previous version of maze plus and it was fine but use at your own risk um, the, uh things like the maze plus mods obviously increase the number of height types at every seasons add all of those in at the start because if you add them in once you're playing you might get strange effects um so for example when i tried to add the update of Maze Plus to my um, Oak Hill game, I had some cut grass on the ground and that turned into silage clover, which you can't do anything with because it's a processing step and so nothing will pick it up or clear it. Um, if you had snow on the ground and you added it in, you might come back into the game and find that's turned into manure or hay or lime or something else random because the game has to reorder all those height types. So anything you're going to do that adds a height type add it at the start um, if you add it in later do it at your own risk um, so we've got all our mods set up here and we're just going to hit start and i'll now cover tip four while this is loading so if you don't want to start a new game or if you can't um, you know like my uh, my oak hill series i was midway through the year on seasons and i didn't really want to start a new save game and get everything back to where it was what i do and i don't know if this is endorsed by the farming agency at all so this is very much a, a, a tip from me um clear everything off the ground so if you've got manure piles from your cows clear them up stick them in a bunk a silo a bung a trailer anything um, so it's not on the ground if you've got silage in a clamp get it in a, a proper silo or um, a trailer so that there aren't piles on the ground if you've got grass that you've mown get it picked up and bailed up uh, the snow on the ground don't do it and wait until the snow's cleared or if you're using seasons clear the snow off if you've got nothing on the ground and it's all stored in silos not in clamps or bailed in theory you'll be fine um, back everything up so take a copy of your save take a copy of the versions of mods that you're using at the moment store those somewhere else and then add in the new version of maze plus and just go around and check things are okay um so i did that on oak hill and it's worked fine 
um, but it's a very much use at your own risk. Um, the next one, tip five, and I'll pop the bits up on the screen. There are some mods not to use with Maze Plus. The first one is more bunker silo. That messes up the way Maze Plus changes how bunker silos work. If you have the two, you'll get errors. Things won't work properly. Um, it's quite a common one that crops up on the Maze Plus Discord. Someone will say, I'm trying to tip whatever in a bunker and it won't let me or it doesn't work or it changes into something else. And generally, they have more bunker silo in their uh, mods folder. If it's in your mods folder, move it out, put it in your mod download or storage folder or something else. If you want to use it on a different save game, it doesn't have to be in your mods folder when you're playing with Maze Plus. In fact, it can't be. You'll get errors. The other one is enhanced BGA, and that will corrupt your save. I'm told I've never used it. Um, so yeah, don't have enhanced BGA in the mods folder when you're using Maze Plus. And the one that I've mentioned previously is Straw Me. Um, I have used it. I used it on my Sandy Bay series where I had Maze Plus. It was an older version of Maze Plus. Um, if you're going to use it, use it at the start and kind of a user beware. It can cause issues with interactions uh, with Maze Plus. Um, last comment, comment number six tip even tip number six um watch tutorial videos i've got a series which is been linked below and is in a playlist which covers quite a lot there are loads of other people on youtube who have tutorials on how to use maze plus check out scroft he has some great ones uh, ask in the comments on my videos i'll try and help you if not i'll point you at the maze plus discord they will help you as long as you're not doing things you shouldn't do so they'll quite often ask you to post your log file so they can go through it and help you and if they spot things like more bunker silo or you've got lots of maps in your mod folder then you know what you're going to be told um, and i think that's it for this video it's fairly short i think hopefully it's helpful um if there are any other things you'd like me to cover let me know i'm still planning to do the one on using beat harvest with maze plus but i thought i'd do this one first so if you enjoyed it leave me a like leave me a comment down below if you didn't enjoy it hit that thumbs down uh think about subscribing to the channel link for alien pools paypal is below um if you like the maze plus stuff drop them a donation it'll help them out uh catch you next time